so we already went over arrows lightning striking the um the ships that are sailing to the wish kingdom the sorcery kingdom in wish the 11 realms that are sailing there i think what would also be interesting is it like so they're going to be sailing there but like something has to happen that has them sail there so i think what would be really interesting is if like just like i sent that light ball to like the tech valley like i think what would be really interesting is if like Again, we already know that Eros is sending these light balls to places, and it's, like, fucking hilarious because he's just being a bitch. But, like, I think what would be really funny is, like, if – well, not even just funny, but also just, like, it would be really beautiful – is, like, what would be really cool is if we see Eros, like, sending, like, that those lights, like, the I Moana light, um, and, like, sending these, like – like, what the voyage is. Like, he's sending, like – just like what they were seeing with like um in what Moana is seeing in I am Moana, like to each of these kingdoms and also like, you know, with the wind spirit scenes, like what the scene is that has the people actually go and sail to the sorcery kingdom and like to the film in November is like he's sending these like lights and like these this this like light, which is like these ships, and he's sending like the what the voyage is. Like he's sending like this like light image of like what the voyage is going to be and like so like just like kind of how you see those light images and then you actually see moana sailing at the end of the film what she's going on her journey like it'd be really interesting if you see these light images and like he's sending like hey i just built i'm like constructing this sorcery kingdom because i like got castaway'd and i'm on this fucking island and i'm on this island like castaway with my volleyball being a bitch <laughs> and like i'm on this island alone just exactly what i told you i was gonna do and i'm on this island alone like castaway with these books that like people keep like harassing me about and i'm on this island with these books like castaway and i'm just like having these monographs and i'm like battling people who keep trying to like sexually assault me <laughs> and like who keep trying to trap me in hourglasses because they think i'm a fucking jasmine baby and like he's just there like and like also you see like keto and you see like the black guy that's in the baymax short like you see these characters but like you also see like arrows who is not like a disney character like it would be just really interesting if like the whole concept of people trying to like buy me and people trying to like commodify me is which is exactly why i'm sending all of these like lightning strikes and shit and so like it would be really interesting is if like what is happening is like he's sending this like light of like hey i'm on this island and like i'm like in my brain like you guys have seen my brain you saw it in encanto you saw it in big hero 6 like you kind of just like you saw me observing in like the one world trade observatory like you saw me observing in big hero 6 because i was on youtube then um and i was becoming aware that my like microbots had been stolen um and then in Encanto, you saw me actually amass like the evidence that my microbots were stolen and like reveal that i was like cloaking and like reveal why i had these black gloves on because like my grandma's a bitch <laughs> and so like i think that would be really interesting if we see like um like because you see my brain twice you saw my brain like me speaking like synchronized with my voice in Encanto. And then you, like, saw my brain observing, um, like, the intellectual property theft that was in um, Big Hero 6. And so, like, it would be really interesting if in the Wish film, because technically, I mean, this seems like the third, this seems like the third Big Hero 6 storyline. Raya kind of looks like the same thing, because it does look like the movie that he was making in his room. Like, it does look like the movie that he does making, but, like, still, they, like, the dam, which is, like, the, I figured it out. So, like, the dam is, so, like, okay, I figured this out already, but I'm just gonna, like, articulate it. So, Wreck-It Ralph, like, Ralph Breaks the Internet came out, and, like, that's, like, technology. And so, like, the Nathodra follow magic, like, technology. So, somewhere the attack started happening, like, Felix Jr. was, like, reappeared, and people were like, wait, aren't you also Elsa, and also, like, you know like why are you so many people and then so like that was kind of happening in record ralph like ralph breaks the internet and then frozen 2 came out and elsa wakes the four spirits of the enchanted forest and i posted this picture of me anastasia goth 
Haley White, and Kyle Kelly. Like, those are the four spirits. And so I think that that's what happened. So these – each of the four films that are coming out was actually specifically um, Anastasia Goff, Kyle Kelly, Haley White, and me. So, like, I think that that's what has been happening. Those three movies came out, and now um, – and now the wish film is coming out, which I do think that one is me, um, and which again gives context to why I was so like frustrated because I was like, "What the fuck? I know that this shit is happening, but like it doesn't seem like everybody around me does, and like that's why it looks like Anastasia Once Upon a December because like I was like I didn't know that I was this person, <laughs> um, and so like I think that that's what was, what is happening now is that like people are like aware of that because I posted it online. And so, like, that's just how the film has been playing out. So, like, The Dam was, like, um, Raya and the Last Dragon, Encanto, and Strange World. Because, like, so there was Ralph Francie in that, there was Frozen 2, The Dam is built, and then there was Raya, Encanto, and Strange World, which is The Dam, and then The Waters is the Wish film. And, like, that actually makes a ton of sense, because in Frozen 2... Oh, no, and Frozen, that came out in 2013, and then Big Hero 6 came out in 2014. So, like, Big Hero 6 came out literally the very next year, like, after uh, Frozen came out, because that's what happened. Elsa went Conceal Don't Feel, she went Let It Go, and she built San Francisco in the mountains, and then Anna tried to destroy it because she's a bitch. And so, like, that's what happened. And so then in Frozen 2, Elsa went to Otapollen, and she was building, like, I was building there, like, on the back cover. Like, I was building Wish. Like, I'm building the Wish film. But I don't know if it's Anna, if it's King Runard, if Anna is King Runard, or if she just thinks she is. And I think that, too, which is why I don't fuck with her right now. I don't know what's happening, but there is a lot. There is a discrepancy about what is happening because I don't fuck with Anna right now. <laughs> because I'm building this Wish film, and I don't know if she built this dam or, like, was involved in the building of this dam. But I do know that I figured out what the dam is. It is Brian the Last Dragon and Kanto and Strange World. And you built this dam because you were trying to waste time. <laughs> you were trying to solve because you knew that this wish film was coming out. So that's what I was building in Otta Holland to craft a worthy future. That's what I was building in Otta Holland. And you built this dam because you're trying to destroy it because you're a jealous bitch. And like, that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, so like now there's context to that. People know now what the dam is. It is those three films, and the water is the wish film. I figured it out. <laughs> and because I figured out your dirty trick, Iger, <laughs> you should be aware now that I am fit to lead Disney Junior. Who else could have figured out this like nefarious shit that you're doing? I'm taking your mask again. <laughs> Because I'm hilarious. Like, that's what's happening. That's the whole point of all of this stuff with the jester and everything. Is I'm a funny person. People like laughter. Just let people be happy, Bob Iger. <laughs> let people enjoy life. Like, it's not that difficult. So this is my Bob Iger scene. Like, you are Taka right now, Bob Iger. And I am arriving here. And I'm arriving to Disney. And I'm like, hey, I am Clopin. I know that you like, wanted me to have these black gloves, and you wanted me to be trapped on a farm watching my kids grow up on the kingship ambition, well, guess what? They're not actually my children. <laughs> They're my people. They're not my children, Bob Iger. They're my people. And I did watch them grow up on this farm, and it was horrible, but I am Eros. <laughs> I am Eros, and I've been on this strange world farm, and I've been on this strange world farm on this freaking island. I've been Eugene Fitzherbert. I've been Clopen, I've been Aladdin, I've been a lot of people, Bob Iger, <laughs> I've been Camila, but I'm actually Eros, and I am sending these lights, because I'm telling you guys, I'm showing you guys what this journey is about to be, <laughs> I'm showing you guys what this voyage is about to be, you guys are about to trek across these waters, <laughs> you guys are about to trek across these waters, and you're going to try to get into the sorcery kingdom, you're going to try to get through this maze, and I'm going to lightning strike you <laughs> every second of the way, because it's hilarious, and if I'm going to keep doing that... <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it until you let these people laugh. Let my people laugh. <laughs> because it's just ridiculous. Like, we've been depressed, even about the things that happened to me. We've been depressed about things for, like, literally, like, 30 years. Like, when are you guys going to get over it? It doesn't matter. Like, 
That's what I'm talking about. Like, there's a lot of sad things that happen in the world, but you know what makes it sadder? Being sad about it. <laughs> so, like, that's what I'm talking about. This is ridiculous. Like, it's so dumb. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that's really what it is. It's just, like, it's just, like, let us just all, like, I'm, you're Taka right now. Let's just all laugh because it's fun. Like, let's just all go and throw a party in the Wish film, and we'll just laugh because it's fun, Bob Iger. It's whimsical. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, so like that's what it is. Eros is just like sending these lights from like the Sorcery Kingdom, like where he has plotted out the Sorcery Kingdom. He's just sending these lights, kind of like how I made in the Lithia Judiciary Building, how like I made the like blue, like the water blueprint, which like I don't know if that was in the Wish trailer, but I think it was because like the I don't think that I actually took a video of that water blueprint. But I think that that's probably why those balls are in there, because, like, that's what I did. I made a water blueprint, and, like, what Dylan was saying, like, oh, that's what it's going to look like. Like, I made this water blueprint, and I made the exact, like, building, and it was awesome. And so, like, it would be really interesting if, like, they're seeing now, like, that that is kind of, like, the, like, visual representation of people, like, who have been seeing these lights and have been like, oh. Like, these, like, ancestor lights that, like, I thought were my ancestors talking to me, like, I thought that I had friends, sad clown, like, these ancestor lights were actually just Eros. It wasn't my ancestors. It was just someone who, it was just Eros who made these, like, light, um, like, recreations. Like, I was really disappointed that she built that because it looked like it had been there forever. Like, that was actually just my brother sending me these light projections. And it's like, oh, great. <laughs> I just think it would be really funny for, like, to reveal how much of the stuff in these Disney films were A, just like a Fantasia dream that dead Eugene was having, and then also, like, to see how much of these things were actually just, like, Eros being a bitch and, like, pretending to be people's, like, relatives in light, but also not necessarily knowing that that's what he was doing. Because, like, I think that's kind of the point, is because it's just, like, Iago. Like, I just parrot people, but I wasn't actually, like, trying to make anybody think that I was their dead relative. And so, like, I think that that's why it's hilarious. But anyways, yeah, it would just be really funny if Eros is just sending these lights. Like, hey, this is the journey that you're about to go on, and I'm going to lightning strike you because it's going to be fucking hilarious. <laughs> I just think that that'll be really hilarious. I don't know. I think it'll be funny. I think it'll be really funny. But, yeah, I don't know. And it's also because like, it's a river. So it's, like, also a thing. another thing that I was thinking about is that, like, the – so, like, Megara – like, Hercules has, like – um, like someone who's been there before, like Hercules has Megara's soul, and he's like, he brings her soul out of the river and he puts it back in her body. So, like, I wonder if that's what's happening with like the revealing the constellations of my ancestry. Is that it's like, just like I was sending those lights to Moana, and like he's swirling those lights around Asha, like, I wonder if that's just what's happening. Because again, he has a cape and he looks like he's old because I'm drawing myself coming out of this fucking river. And so, like, I think that's all, and also whatever the soul restore thing that's in Little Mermaid, because that happens when Triton gets his Triton, Triton. Um, and so, like, I went back, like, Chief Verona, like, I went back and got this, that thing. And so, like, I think that that's also what was happening, because, like, Magnifico has those, like, uh, those, like, blue things or whatever. And, like, so does um, Namari's mom. And, um... Namari's mom has that, and then also that's what they put together in the first step. So, like, that power, like, is what Magnifico's power seems to be. Um, and, like, I think that was also maybe what was happening in the first step, is they were putting that there, and, like, they, they reconstructed it, and they put it there, because they were maybe trying to show that they stole it, and, like, they were trying to, like, restore it to whoever it actually belonged to, I don't know. Um, but then, like, we also know that Namari's mom has it, and, like, she actually has one, because that one actually is hers, I think. But that Namari's mom is also probably Eugene on the cross. So, I don't know. There's a lot of weird shit happening, but, like, Magnifico is alive now, and I just think it'll be really interesting to see, like, whatever that power is, because, I mean, I think that is what my power is, but, like, whatever that power is, to see Eros is just, like, chilling with, like, my, that little bit of red sandstone, or, like, that little bit of redstone, which is interesting because redstone is also a stone, like sandstone, stone, redstone, but sand is not a stone, but redstone is a stone, and even a redstone torch has a stone on it. But yeah, anyways, it'll just be really interesting to see 
arrows is just like lightning striking everybody that he is like um summoning to this place because it's like it'll just be really interesting to see that because like that's kind of what's been happening with all the films anyway and like the more that we do that kind of just like the point of those painting like the more that we do that like we will like arrive back to the pointillism painting which i've already revealed myself at the nelson which is a world war one museum so like i mean these things are already kind of coming together but like the like what is happening though is that it's like there are all of these people who are watching the films and like there are all these people who are watching the films who a like didn't know who i was and now do and are like why have we never heard of this person before but then there are all of these people who are like oh wait like this person that i knew built all of this shit and like why has no one ever talked about that <laughs> so like i think that that's kind of what's happening is that like that's kind of the precarious situation that we're in but like does it need to be a precarious situation i think is kind of like where we are at the moment is that it's like i can see how you would like you would have maybe seen me and been like okay well i don't know if this person can actually like run whatever disney jr actually could be i think he can but I don't know that. <laughs> and so, like, maybe that's what's happening is I'm having to, like, demonstrate to you that I can. But at what point did you already know that I could? Just like Amy in her test. Like, the test that Amy did um, with the cats. Like, at what point did you actually, like, come to the conclusion that I actually can, like, lead this thing and have just been, like, stalling for no reason? Like, I don't know what's happening. But again... The dam has 12 little notches on it, and Disney Junior is 12 letters, and, like, I have my redesign of J-Data was 12 months, so, like, it makes sense that there was just a set amount of time for this, but, like, that's what's so frustrating about it, is that it's, like, why? Like, I don't know, but anyways, yeah, I mean, again, it's, like, staying power and, like, a test of time, so, like, I see, I can see that, but it's, like, ah, anyways, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just think it'll just be really interesting to see Eros doing Castaway and just being a bitch. And, like, just, like, mapping out this, like, journey that they're all going to go on and, like, have them, like, more aware now because there are characters. And then also have people, like, embrace this, like, idea of, like, having sequels, which we've already seen some sequels, but, like, this, like, idea of, like, having sequels and, like, because, again... Like, you were, you were already making sequels, more or less, anyways. Like, and so it's not like we're proposing that you do anything that you weren't already doing. We're just proposing that you do it without the mask. Which, like, why? Like, why not? Like, how much trouble did you cause yourself because you had this, like, mask on for literally no reason? And so, like, it's just, like, if we just make the sequels, I think that you would find that your company would have been way more successful had you just done that in the first place. Um, instead of, like, trying to, like, mask all of these things that nobody actually cares about <laughs> um but yeah so i think that that's what it is i think it would be really interesting if we like because i think i can also see how like you could be afraid that if you have sequels then you won't be able to make anything like new um because you like people would be like oh well i already know this character so like i don't i'm not like really interested in like seeing any other thing that you might make like for example i kind of only like disney for disney animation i don't really like anything else that disney does but like maybe that doesn't matter like i mean i think that like it would be really interesting if we could just get people on board with like what would it what would these films look like because again you guys already saw that the mcu had was able to like hold an audience even though the MCU for the for quite a long time is not what anybody thought it was, which is what happened when I like took that torch out, is that people were like, because again, so much of the MCU was me anyways, or like so much of it was like like light that I was sending to people. And so like it is just really because that's what Wakanda opening was, and that's what like Wakanda Forever being like super like majestic and like long ninety and like um your majesty's magnificent. Like that's what happened. Because, like, the MCU is never, or, like, for the longest time was not what anybody thought that it was anyways. And, like, that's what's happening. Like, Asha's confronting this world that isn't what she thought it was. And so, like, I think it would be really interesting to see, like, if people, like, would genuinely be interested in seeing, like, you know, multiple sequels of, like, these Disney animation films. Because I honestly think that they would. Like, I think that people would absolutely want to see that. And I don't know why like Bob Iger or like whoever was is whatever the holdup is at Disney I don't know why that holdup is there because like you 
guys making like all of these like non like continuous films was not actually that interesting <laughs> like i feel like people weren't really that interested in that at all and so like i think that that's kind of what's happening is that it's like but again i think that part of that reason that that was happening is because of this concept of like like relationships and like this concept of like trying to monetize literally every single thing about a person's humanity and like i think that that's why the sequels weren't happening but like your ship sank when you did that so it's like i why why try to repeat like something that has failed that many times um but yeah so i don't know i just think it would be really interesting if like in the wish film we can like grow the disney audience in such a way that like they're invested in the story without like because again like the disney films like a lot of them are just like they're a lot of them really are uh just like a like wish i think that that's honestly the point is a lot of the disney films are literally just that wishful thinking that don't ever manifest into anything tangible and so like i think if we actually like instead of like trying to like um like guard your girls like little porcelain hearts or whatever like if you actually just present them with something that is like this is something that is authentic there are gay people in the world the gay people exist it's not that big of a deal like most people don't actually care and so like i think that, that would be really interesting if you just like instead of having disney be this thing that is just like men kissing women and little girls asses just to make them feel better about themselves and like actually have these films that like depict what their actual role in society actually looks like at that point it, they won't be beauty and the beast trapped in mirrors men won't be beauty and or men, they won't be beauties trapped in mirrors men won't be beasts trapped in mirrors because it won't just be a wish it won't just be a dream it won't just be wishful thinking it'll just actually be accurate representations of what daily life is like and then they won't be using it as escapism and then like people won't be glued to their couches in this like cyclical cycle of like like just fake life won't be happening and like you actually have like teach girls and women and men and boys to embrace just what life authentically is then like we can enjoy films and have them not be a mirror and have it not be escapism because like that's why the industry is dying because you were using it as escapism but if you actually just like like i think that you could actually literally save the industry and like redeem the industry if you actually just acknowledge that like it is not an accurate reflection of what like life is and it is also not a substitute for daily life like i think that that's literally the point and like but that's how it's being used right now because like you're kind of like the the con like the line of thinking that you're going on is like okay well like you know like i'm a dude like there's this family guy joke like i'm a dude with nothing housewife this is exciting for me like but if you actually like give women like actual opportunities in life that aren't just like wishful thinking on a tv screen then they won't like then like the films won't be like pigeonholed into this like um into like this like narrow line of thinking of like oh well this is just a, a little wish that or a little dream that you have so like just go like play with your rattle like play with your one world trade center rattle because like no men in society are giving you an actual chance to like be like a real person in the world and then like there's little girls who are like whose lives are cheapened because like there are boys being dressed up as little girls by like perverts and then like like there's like um like this these damsel situations where like women are just being used as mirrors for like gay boys when they're trying to convert them to like be attracted to women and it's like you're doing a lot of stuff that like that is not benefiting the men or the women in these situations at all it's not benefiting the boys it's not benefiting the girls it's just retarded like it's not it has no purpose at all except for like crafting this like fake reality that women can like pretend is real and pretend matters when everybody knows that it doesn't <laughs> and so like i think that that's kind of what it is and it would be more interesting if you just acknowledge like what's going on with like conversion therapy and like with like just like homophobia is like maybe it's not that men aren't attracted to women maybe that's not 
a problem. Maybe that's not even true. Maybe women are not attractive to men. Like the damn attracted has to fall. Did you find the fifth spirit, Roman numeral V, five, Roman numeral V? Did you find the fifth spirit? Women are not attractive to men. Not men aren't attracted to women. Maybe that's actually the truth. Maybe women, heterosexuals and Christians, just need to grow the fuck up and realize that there are all kinds of people in the world and that the world is big enough for all of us to inhabit it. That's probably what's actually happening, Earth. That's what's actually happening, America. You're kind of fucking retarded. And a lot of people think that. I am just the one who's being vocal about it. So we can all just grow and be happy and be light and levity. And we can just have a great ass time. Or you can talk to red bitch Jasmine in this tower.